seeing you in this such a great show. What's <laughs> happened? I got given a yellow dress and then it all went topsy turvy. <laughs> And you're playing an actress in this film and you end up having to act for your life in this show, yes. don't you? I do. I, I play a really good liar. That's, that's basically it. She is such a fantastic... Uh, yeah, she's, she's really convincing and she, she makes every moment hers, which is what I loved about her. Um, she totally controlled everything that she was in uh, and that's a really cool character to play. But we also see kind of times where she's vulnerable and she's really knocked for a six and she has to think on her feet a lot, which must be quite exciting for you as well. Well, I think what's wonderful about her is even though she's not from that world, she doesn't know how to do anything and she doesn't know how to like pull out a gun in a snazzy way and she doesn't know how to roll over cars and she doesn't know how to fight and she's kind of thrown into this world where she has to kind of make do with her own skill set and her own skill set is really impressive and she makes her own way by just being able to act and lie on the spot and that was really interesting to play I didn't have to be smooth or in any way a spy whereas Alex did that really well <laughs> no he does yeah <laughs> I mean, what's great as well, the story, it's set in the 70s, but there's got a real kind of contemporary feel as well. Was that something exciting for you? Totally. I mean, I think most of the women that I end up finding or choosing, they're all in some way loud or modern, uh, or they have their own views and opinions and they don't mind shouting about them. And uh, I love the fact that I do those roles. And I think, for, especially with Charlie, she was that was the exact thing that I loved about her. She told every man that told her not to do something to bugger off, and I, I, I loved that. Off very quickly, just about the calibre of actors that you're working with. I mean, it gives you yes. such an opportunity. I blush every time. Um, I yeah, I don't know how that happened. It's actually because of this lady here, <laughs> my agent. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I'm very very lucky. Um, I've managed to just go from job to job and be totally impressed by by the people that I've got to work with and I get to learn so much and um, I'm sure that at some point it'll all dry out and I won't be able to do that anymore um, but I'm I'm hugely appreciative and I, I'm totally terrified I'm not <laughs> ready for that whatsoever but I'm I'm ready to meet them all and I'm so excited as I've been speaking to the actors and the screenwriters um, th this afternoon they've, they've all said about that like the when we talked about the character and the richness of the characters, that's all come from your book. Do you like people and do you like writing about in-depth characters? Well, I love my work, my writing, and I'm extremely proud when I inspire great filmmakers to make versions of it. At that moment, the transition is clear. Uh, I come in at the beginning, we all talk about it, and then the filmmakers get lift off, and it's no longer it's no longer the film of the book, it's the film of the film, it's their property, their magic, their idea. And I think the process for me is entirely, sati entirely satisfactory, very grateful for it. I, 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 love the, I love the thought that I inspired it and the characters inspired it. They take over the character. She's always in my way, this girl. <laughs> What a, an opportunity to work in a Le Carre story is one an actor can't turn down, surely. Absolutely, absolutely. And it was my first on-screen uh, experience was this. Yeah, so working with director Park was the first time I had done on, I've been a stage actor uh, most of my career. So certainly as far as an on-camera debut goes, couldn't really do much better than that. And it must be terrifying because the, the, you know, the disciplines needed for theatre uh, are different. Um, for uh, on camera, it's a much more sort of contained performance. Was that difficult to kind of the transition? Yeah, you certainly, you know, I think at the at the core, it's still the same skills. It's just adapting that to a, a much more sensitive medium. Um, but director Park did such an incredible job. I think setting a tone on set uh, that was very calm and um, very measured and uh, put uh, me certainly at ease. So it, it ended up actually feeling quite natural. We'll see if that actually <laughs> no, it occurred. Um, oh, you, okay, amazing. Yeah, okay, perfect. Oh, great, yeah, I've, I've heard it's, it's going to be good. I'm very excited. I mean, what's, um, even in the two hours that I've seen, each of the characters and even just the, the supporting cast as well, you've all got layers and there's there's revelations all the, all the time about the characters and I think that must be very exciting for an actor as well because you're constantly um, evolving and developing. Yeah, and I think part of it, a large part of that goes down to, to LeCarrie's writing as well. I think that he... Uh, uh, 
proactively tries to make characters that aren't one-dimensional, that are good and bad. You can't label them in any certain way. So, you know, reading his his words and this adaptation, there's uh, there's you can go to incredible depths with each of the characters. Yeah, yeah. And leaping from stage to screen, is there any advice that you have for any other actors that are making that kind of transition? <laughs> Anything that you've learned that you'd like to share? Oh, I mean, gosh, um, uh, when you get the chance to be around incredible people um, who are work operating at a high level, uh, listen and, and watch them, and uh, don't be afraid to to ask, you know, which direction camera left is if you have to, because um, uh, sometimes you might need it. Yeah, just absolutely um, take advantage of the resources around you. This script is. It, I bet when you started to read it, you couldn't put it down. Oh yeah, you, you feel like you're, you're getting lost. But what's so, what I feel like is part of our message is that we want you to be a bit lost and a bit, and a bit scared. And especially when I read the book, I was so drawn into it. And I felt like I'm in a journey. Uh, and I'm very happy this adaptation came, came out now. You're working very closely with Michael Shannon's character. What was it about that the character as well that, that, that you wanted to play? First of all, it was a dream come true playing with Michael. I think Michael is one of the best actors in the world. Uh, and we have a little something as kind of like a father and son relationship going there, but still we're very serious, most sad people. Uh, and I found it fascinating the way we connected uh, in terms of our character. You know, um, in terms of my character, Shimon Litvak is... His biggest goal is is to be like Kurtz, and uh, Michael was there for me. And what's lovely about all of these characters, there's, there's something kind of bubbling under the surface. Is is that what you felt as well when you were reading for, for the part? I felt like it's 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 like a time bomb, and uh, all of these characters are connected in terms of like wiring to one another, and basically they're all the same. They all have the same wishes, the same ideas. That's the message I, I hope that will come true to, to the younger audience. This shows, it, it feels incredibly international, doesn't it? And, and a classic Le Carre. Yeah, yeah, of course. We have people all around the world. Uh, you have got uh, people from Israel, you got people from, uh, from France, you got people from America, England. And I can keep on, keep on. And it was amazing that we saw that everybody pretty much have the same mind, have the same wants, have the same needs. And that's, from my opinion, that's the show all about. Because uh, we just want the same things. But, but we, need, we come from different uh, circumstances. So we try to get it. And um, when you read your part, what was it about the character that resonated? Why did you want to play it? Well, uh, first of all, uh, the same name, Daniel and Daniel. Uh, that makes life easier. Yeah, and uh, no, seriously, um, I really like the the passion that he had to, to help for his uh, country, his nation, even if he need to go uh, abroad and, and reunite with his teammates that he used to work with. And uh, he, he, from my opinion, my eyes, I think he look up to for, uh, look up, uh, Becker, who is uh, Alexander Skarsgård, and and Courts, and he, he, whatever they say, it's like God for them, for him. So for me, I really wanted to to to, to uh, first of all, it's my my country, Israel. I come from Israel, so to represent my country and uh, their why, why they do what they do, and and for me, it was very important to do. So I'm happy to do it. When you're, when you're talking like that as well, did you go off and do your own kind of research as well? I mean, obviously, Le Carre's book will be filled with information, but it, is it, was it good for you to do your own personal journey? Well, yeah, first of all, it's the Mossad. And uh, before the, the little drummer girl, uh, I did, I did a, a show in Israel called the Mossad 101. So I had a little bit, in, uh, I, I, knew, I knew what to do like in the Mossad area because I played also a Mossad agent and yeah of course I, I read the, the script a few times I read the book uh, I took every information that I that I could uh, I looked a little bit about the 70s because of course the show happening in the 70s so um, and I like I, I took pretty much everything from 
anything that I could. So for me, it was a very amazing experience to, to, to explore and, and to do and to learn from everyone around me. This story is is incredibly compelling. The actors are so uh, the characters rather are so rich. I would have thought being a part of this project was a no brainer. Really. Absolutely, yeah. No, it was it was very exciting to to get the part and, and be invited to, to be on board. Yeah, with a great great director and great actors on board. So yeah, I was I was really thrilled to be part of it. With with, with the director as well, who's got such an incredible back cap catalogue of work in film. Was it? interesting to be a part of a project where he's bringing that kind of cinema cinematography background into making TV really. Yeah absolutely I mean I saw his um, film The Handmaiden bef before I met him which was astonishing just astonishing um, and the way it twists and turns so I thought well that's going to be very interesting for him to tie that up with a thriller which should be perfect really um, and so hopefully that's what the audience will get but his visionary uh, acumen is just incredible totally incredible so really tran it translates as a really cinematic film doesn't it really the other thing that I loved as well about what I've been able to see so far of the show I've seen the first two uh, that each of the characters um, and supporting cast as well all have something hidden there are all layers and the, and every time you peel back there's something new to learn was that exciting for you as, a, as an actor and especially in a, f a show where it that allows a six-part show where that allows to happen yeah it's very exciting I mean we, we were sometimes working on the hoof quite a lot as well um, sometimes lines would be changed on the day even and, and so it, we were all on our metal you know and having to work together very closely so but yeah sometimes you get an insight to your character and think oh my goodness I've got to change that within a very short space of time but that was thrilling yeah. Terrifying but thrilling. Yeah. Terrifying but thrilling, yeah. And you're working, you're part of the crew with Michael Shannon and Alexander Skarsgård and, and, and reluctantly Florence Pugh's character. Um, how, what, was there any kind of pre-production that you did to work on together to bring that kind of uh, connection really? Not, not really. I mean, in most TV and film, no, you don't get so much rehearsal, but um, um, we spent the first two weeks together in this room, sort of trapped in a room together, so we got to know each other quite well during that time, you know, eating together and, you know, desperate to get out of the room, and then, you know, so, um, yeah, we got to know each other pretty well then. We had a bit of rehearsal with um, Director Park uh, at the beginning, where we talked about... Yeah, storylines and the character and all the rest of it, and that was very, very useful. Yeah, the whole opportunity to adapt a Le Carre book must have been a, a dream come true. It is an absolute dream, and especially this with a female lead. It's just, a, it, it, yeah, it was for me. I hadn't read the book before we got on board, before we was offered it. So when I read it, I was like, oh, my heart just stopped. It was really, really exciting. But the exciting thing as well is that these characters are so rich and so layered, aren't they? And I would imagine for you, ad adapting these characters, it's so important to, to keep that anchor. Uh, 100%. And I think um, Le Carre's work really lends itself to a richness and the TV format is perfect for that. It gives us six hours to explore every facet of these characters. And with something as kind of twisty and turny and seductive and manipulative as this, you can really get under the skin of it in a longer format. I also think Director Park's work is full of rich characters and um, with the with someone like him in charge we felt the confidence to really lean into the boldness of the characterization in the book I think because it is really cinematic as well isn't it it's very cinematic I mean all the well the, the novel is very cinematic but this is I think it's a work of art yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then you've got a cast like you've got that in, in it, it, they just breathe life into your words must be a dream come yeah. I mean, I I'd, I'd fantasised about working with Michael Shannon and Alex Garsgård and after I'd seen Lady Macbeth. Honestly, Florence holds this with such power and such uh, dynamism. I, I frequently, I've been watching cuts of the episodes as we've gone along and just, I meant to pause in particular moments and just watching her, I can't stop. She is unbelievable. There's no one else who could have played her, really, because yeah. it's a very tricky character and to pull off the humour in a way that's not, uh, I don't know, like, Productive. She just did it in such a way that you're, she just she has a charm which brings you right in. I, I also think one of the things that Florence can do, she can hold a contradiction in a single word. Mm. And one of the things about Charlie is she is a contradictory, rich, real character, and Florence can embody that like no one else. The other thing that brings a lot of authenticity to the show as well is it, it's set in the 70s, but it really feels like it could have been shot in the 70s, but it feels contemporary as well. Real. That's yeah. such a relief. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
the writing, I mean, a lot of it came straight from the book and a lot of the research and everything, but um, Maria with her amazing design and director part, knowing how close he is to detail and yeah. Yeah, I think really we focused on the characters and tried to tell the human story behind it. I'm thrilled that you say it feels contemporary because one of the things that really struck me when we did the read through was it's a young cast mm -hmm. and it feels kind of young and energetic, yeah. but so did the 70s, you yeah. know, and so yeah, exactly. and so does today. Catch so the activism, yeah. 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 Well, what an incredible show to be a part of. You must be super excited when you read this. I'm like shaking right now at this, at this moment. Um, I read the script like five months ago and it's feel like yesterday and now on the red carpet more excited reading the script was very challenging uh, because it's difficult to play a character like this in these days but I'm not judging it's 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 not good to judge as an actor judge the characters I was going to say I think with, with an actor's job really isn't to make a judgment call on a character nobody's good or bad and I think what's great about all of these characters is they have those layers don't they? Of course, every character has this, his own layers, his own story to tell, and it involves with the uh, the, the 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 main story of the little little, little drummer girl or any uh, production or any movie or series. And when you got to work with such a, an incredible cast as well, that must have been super exciting. So exciting! I want to say again, um, the director director Park is so understanding. He's like. Um, the word director in English is the best word because he directs and he's a great director as a director, director Park and I give him all my respect and all the cast. I have a friend from the cast called Daniel Littman. He's actually my, my neighbor from Haifa in Israel. It's like the circle of life. We work together in an in a Israeli series. And now we're going to bring it back together. You've done full, sir. Yeah. Listen. Whoa, congratulations. I mean, it's a no-brainer, really, to do, a, to do another Le Carre book, is there really? Uh, yes, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely, they're wonderful stories. They have great scope and scale. And uh, as we know from the night manager, they, they really speak to a large audience. And, uh, and so we're very excited to bring another story to that audience. And what is it about uh, Little Drummer Girl that was the story that you wanted to... to take on board well I think the you know at the heart of, of little drummer girl is is Charlie a British uh, actress who meets an extraordinary guy uh, on a beach uh, and uh, you know he takes her off on what she thinks is going to be a wonderful romantic journey and it rapidly turns into something very different Charlie is a you know Charlie is a very it's a period show but Charlie is a very contemporary character I think uh, you know she is someone I hope that that modern audiences will will relate to very quickly, and it, it's very exciting. It is, and, it, and it's very uh, yeah, again a very international uh, um, show. What, what logistically was that was that tricky to pull off? Well, it's a large scale production. You know, it's it shot in three countries. It's shot in a lot of locations. It's in period. Uh, there's a lot of action. There's a lot of dynamics. So yes, it was it was an ambitious production. Yes, it was great. I mean, the highlight of it, and I'm sure, was was shooting uh, overnight on the Acropolis, which was an incredible privilege. It was one of the most extraordinary nights of my life, I think. The highlights have been in the film business, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, and another one to work with people like Michael Shannon, Alexander Skarsgård. I mean, what a cast! Oh, we had a wonderful cast. Um, our, uh, you know, our three leads are amazing. Our supporting cast is incredible uh, it was, and diverse and very uh, from all over the world. And it was a fantastic experience working with them. Age of diversity. We've got a very strong leading lady as well. How important was that to cast the right lady? Well, I, I think uh, it was. You know, we were we were very lucky because when we started working with uh, Director Park, our, our extraordinary visionary director, uh, he came to us and said, "Well, there's really any one person I think can can play this part, and that's uh, a young actor called Florence Pugh." and as it happened, um, we had just finished uh, a movie with Florence in the lead, um, and so we were very much of the same opinion that she is uh, quite an extraordinary actor. And and you know, at the very beginning of what I'm sure is going to be a breathtaking career. Yeah.